Hello everyone, this is a really quick tutorial on how I managed to use um, what well, is actually Microsoft Teams and also Zoom which I use um, in order to share a Cubase project so if you're collaborating with someone else or you're teaching using um, music technology so if you're using a DAW or something like that or I suppose any editing software you can collaborate with others and show your project on the screen. Obviously, um, if you're using video conferencing like Zoom, you can you share screen and you can share audio. That's one of the key things is sharing audio. But the problem I ran into when I was using Cubase is that um, the other person in the chat couldn't hear. They could see what was happening in Cubase, but they couldn't hear it. And this is the workaround that I found. Um, I remember before I was using some software, it was really good software, it's free software and you can donate. So if you're making money from it, it'd be worth donating to them called Voice Meter. So if I um, just load this up first, there we go. So this is it, Voice Meter. Basically, this is a fantastic bit of software. It's a, it's a mixing desk. And basically what it does, it takes, it will route all your different um, things happening on the screen to a stereo out which is really handy the only problem is I don't know if you can hear that it's made my voice go slightly strange it's a bit phasey my voice but I was happy to work with that considering I could share the Cubase project and in fact if you use let me just come out of there a minute in fact if you use Teams you can use um, mouse share as well which is fantastic so the other person can actually work on you. There's a latency, but so recording audio wouldn't work. But if you work with samples, editing MIDI, things like that, they can actually have control as well of the screen. So Teams does that. I don't think Zoom does control, but it's worth checking whatever video conferencing um, software you use to see if you can use actually take control of the mouse as well. So the, yeah, that's the only downside. It makes your voice go slightly phasey, but that's a small price to pay considering. Okay, so I'll show you how I did my settings. I did voice meter, so I loaded that up first. I actually as well, I set voice meter down here on the right hand side at the bottom in your, um, in the window setting. So that's basically, you can choose down here on your speaker icon. So I made sure voice meter was going there. And then in Cubase, if I, let's have a look at a recent project. I'll open up the the one we did yesterday. And then in Cubase for sound settings, it might be different in um, other DAWs, but you can go to studio, studio setup, and just make sure voice meters in here. Because if you're using your um, audio interface, it won't work. I've tried it with that and it just doesn't route through. So make sure you've set under studio, studio setup and VST audio system, make sure that's set up in there. Okay. Now, because I've got voice meter going, you can see when I talk and now in Cubase, it's selected to my hardware. So whatever I'm running in Cubase will also run through here. Um, I wonder if I can demonstrate that really quickly. Let's go to, so remember, Media Bay or F5 if you wanted the shortcut, so Media Bay. Let's see if we can find just a, a sample of some sort. Let's put that in. Then in Voice Meter, oh, sorry. There we go. We've got input on that as well. Okay, that's great. So both things are routing through Voice Meter now. And then say, Microsoft Teams again, it worked really well. I was, I was very impressed because of the mouse share, which I haven't got in Teams. But if I start a new meeting in Teams, what I would have to do, okay, join my computer audio. Okay, leave, oh, I haven't come across that before. Okay, but audio settings, okay. Sorry, it's, it, usually I, I've set up Teams for this. Uh, sorry, I've set up Zoom for this. Um, usually I would use um, Microsoft Teams or whatever you do use. Okay, what it's told me at the start, which is quite interesting, that it couldn't connect to audio. 
that's because everything else is drawing the audio. So we're using um, voice meter, basically. So what we have to do under audio settings, you see it says here on the bottom, and this sometimes it's the three dots and then audio settings. But in Zoom, we go to audio settings and you see here, we've got the microphone level, which is fine. But what I want to do is set everything to voice meter. And now what will happen is whoever's the recipient at the other side will be able to um, hear not only me talking, although slightly phasey talking, um, they'll be able to hear the actual Cubase project as well. So, oh, sorry, let me just go back to Cubase for one second. Okay, that's a bit quiet, but as you could see, it was working there, so. There you go. So everything's routing through. The only downside too that I've noticed with um, Zoom is the fact that you, I don't think, although I could be wrong, you can do a mouse share. It's also, as it's worth going into your audio settings in any of these as well. Um, in any of the video conferencing and taking off the uh, the noise suppression or the noise the background noise suppression because sometimes if you're playing a loud instrument with a fast transient such as a drum it can make everything sort of draw back from the mix so it's worth always worth whatever you are using checking your audio settings okay well I've, i hope that you found that reasonably useful